Praetor Amalthus. What is it? I have a report to make regarding the situation with the Aegis in Tanta. Please, come inside. Yes, your eminence. So, Jin finally has his hands on the Aegis. It seems the boy wasn't good for much after all. Unless he can find what is lost. Your eminence? Hector. Yes? Prepare the ceremony. At once, Praetor. Rex Rex, still sleeping? It two days now. His injuries were quite severe. The worst is over. But his body needs time to recover. He'd better get well soon, or... <sighs> Rex? What's that? I'm leaving. But... where will you go? Good question. Can't live on Gramps anymore. Maybe... I'll head for Argentum. Rex? You... What the hell are you talking about, Argentum? What about Pyra? Do you know how desperate the situation is? Or have you finally lost it, you idiot? I know, okay? It's just... Just what? I'm done. Done? When I became the driver of the Aegis, her driver, I felt like I could do anything. But I was just kidding myself. All I've managed to do is hurt her. Again and again. So, I'm done. Oh, for crying out loud, Rex. She got herself caught to save you. I know. So what? So what? Those guys are way out of my league. I can't beat them. It's hopeless. I understand that now. She'll be safe with them. They're not going to hurt her like I do. So I'm leaving. <gasps> I've just been kidding myself all along. Me, a driver, in the end, salvaging is all. You bloody <laughs> idiot! Hurts, yeah? But that pain's nothing compared to what Pyra must be feeling right now. She went with those bastards knowing full well how much you would hurt. For our sake, not hers. I get it, I know. 
But what do you want me to do? I couldn't even slow him down. Even the artifice's attack couldn't touch him. What chance do I have against a guy like that? The more I fight, the more Pyra gets hurt. She'll be better off without me by her side. Do you actually mean that? Do you not have the slightest idea how it felt for her to leave you? With me here? He'll suffer even more, lose even more. So maybe... Maybe Rex is better off without me. Rex, and the whole world, they don't need me. That's just how it feels. Pyra thought you'd be better off if she was dead. Did you know that? She is planning to sacrifice herself to defeat them. Huh? You drove her to this, but here you are, giving up! You said you'd get Pyra to Elysium, didn't you? You'll eat your words just like that? Hey, Mom. Dad. It's been a while. A ton happened, you know? I became a driver. And this girl is Pyra, my new partner. I know you'd love her. We, we're going to Elysium, Pyra and me. I don't know what's coming next, but you'll be watching over us. Right, guys? <sighs> Forget it. We're a rescuer on our own. This loser, he's not the Rex we joined up with. Let him go wherever the hell he wants. Come now. Let's not start fighting amongst... Let's give them a chance to work this out. Shall we? You know, I... Nia, quite right. Rex definitely not behave like himself. Giving up after one loss? That not Rex I know at all. But... Now is not time for excuses! For me! <laughs> but... Poppy? Poppy is hurt to see Rex like this. Poppy and Master Pun are not real Blade and Driver. So Poppy and Master Pun looked up to Rex lots. Rex worked very, very hard to get this far. When Rex tries hard, Poppy and Master Pun try hard. Rex like bullseye we aim for. Without Rex, we not know which way to go. So please. Rex cannot give up and stop here. Poppy. My prince? Chum. Huh? My old man wants to see you. Time to go. Are you all right to be up and about? Yeah. I'm all healed up. Sincere apologies. If I hadn't attempted to destroy the Aegis, they would never have... If you'd done nothing, they'd have come for her anyway. You're not to blame, Your Majesty. It's... my fault. Five hundred years ago, this kingdom was rent in twain. Some followed Adam, who sought to live with blades and titans as equals. 
others opposed him, preferring to consider humans as the masters and titans as our tools. When Adam returned to the Aether, his rivals seized power, leveraging the power of the Omega Fetter. They declared themselves the Tantalese Royal Dynasty. Claiming they were the hero Adam's descendants? Precisely. My ancestors merely used the name of the beloved Adam in order to win over the people. Mm. Before long, we resolved to protect ourselves from meddlesome foreigners by descending deep into the Cloud Sea, taking the dirty secret of our family's lineage with us. The Praetorium, for their part, did not protest. Can you guess why? No. They offered to stay silent in exchange for a certain resource. An annual tribute comprising a fixed quantity of core chips. <gasps> I have something I wish to show you. What is it? What is this? This is Gembo's ether flow. The Titan draws in the fabric of the Cloud Sea and uses it as a source of energy. This energy flows throughout the Titan's body in the form of ether. Refining and crystallizing this ether creates core chips. This process is what you see before you. So in other words, you're siphoning away a portion of the Titan's energy. Our cold climate and poor harvests, they are the unfortunate side effects of this process. I think I'm beginning to understand. Core chips are vital to every nation's military and energy policies. The Praetorium desired this power. How come? All rest at the time was in crisis. But for the Praetorium, it was a precious chance to expand their sphere of influence. So they messled in. As a result, Tantal fell into a chronic energy shortage. Then, well, you saw for yourselves. Near frozen earth, Failing crops. The Tantalese people are forced to live in abject poverty. So why not just leave the Cloud Sea? Genbu can move, right? Just go somewhere warmer. They fear contact with other nations. Too afraid it might expose the truth behind the legends they spun about Adam. That would explain their isolationism. Indeed. That was five centuries ago. Now the Aegis has awakened. The Praetorium is demanding we hand over the Omega Feta. They are threatening to reveal our secret if we do not acquiesce. Indola? Threatening you? I get it now. That's what was in that letter. Enough was enough. I couldn't stand by and let the Tantalese people suffer any longer. Therefore, I made a decision. And that's why you... Yes. I knew there was a chance that the Praetorium would use the Aegis against us. But if I could neutralize her power, Perhaps we would stand a chance of opposing them. And perhaps by saving my people from poverty, I could absolve the sins of my forefathers. You didn't think about using the Aegis' power yourself? Wielding such power is beyond my means. I am under no illusions. However, does the same apply to you? I felt something. When I looked in your eyes, I knew. 
Perhaps you are the one to whom we can entrust the Aegis's power. Father. In the end, it seems I only managed to make things worse. I can blame nothing but my own judgment. This tome records the deeds of the hero Adam. According to this, he saved the world from destruction using a white sword and then disappeared along with a red sword. White and red? It must mean Mithra and Pyrus swords. Whoever wrote this must have had a personal connection to Adam. And, most curiously, after Adam disappeared, the author of this book went looking for something. Something. The third Aegis sword. There's a third. Apparently, this sword was as transparent as diamond and gave off a clear, brilliant light. But Adam went his whole life without using the sword. In fact, he could not use it. What do you mean, couldn't? The sword was simply too powerful. Even he, the legendary hero, could not contain the power it commanded. And thus, fearing its power, he sealed it away somewhere. The author, therefore surmised that this sword alone was the one true sword of the Aegis. Now, Rex, you were defeated by Jin. Doubtless that man is a powerful warrior. But even so, can this be right? Can the Aegis herself truly be outmatched by a single opposing blade? Would it not make more sense to presume that you lost because you have yet to unlock the true power of the Aegis? You mean... I'm the one who's been holding them back? Your Majesty, where is that sword? We have to... we have to find it somehow. We have to find that sword and rescue Pyro and Mithra. Regrettably, the book does not specify the sword's location. But there must be. However, reading between the lines, it seems the author suspected that the sword lies somewhere in Leftheria. It's not much, but that's where I would begin the search. In Leftheria. Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready to do what it takes to be their true driver? Grants? Well, are you, Rex? Yes! Of course! I'm going to be the driver that Pyra and Mithra deserve. And then, I'm going to take them to Elysium. Then come with me. I'll show you the way. My son. Yeah? I have a favor to ask of you as your king. Well, that's a first. Are you feeling okay, old man? Maybe you're coming down with something. The Aegis needs... No, rather, the boy needs protection. You mean Rex? Yes. I saw something in that boy's eyes. A 
light that must never go out. <laughs> Steady on, old man. People get the wrong idea. Fine. Leave it to me. Thank you. Nah, it's not like I wasn't gonna go with him anyway. You really can't judge a book by its cover. Who'd have thought that sweet-looking girl would threaten to destroy herself? Didn't she realize taking her own life would mean the boy died too? Oh, she knew exactly what she was doing. The whole thing was a bluff then? No, not at all. The reason she gave her core crystal to the boy was to replace his heart after Jin put paid to it. An Aegis core encodes the blueprints for all life. She took advantage of that. Incredible. I had no idea such a thing was possible. Aegises truly are a breed apart. Cores are constantly accumulating data about the outside world. The fact that their injuries are mirrored is a result of their twin cores exchanging information. If you wanted to be poetic about it, you could say that their very lives are intertwined. But there's nothing to stop her from severing that link. What do you mean? Before issuing the kill order to the artifice, she would have transferred the remainder of her core to the boy. Letting him live on, heart complete. An Aegis can survive for a short time without a core crystal. Don't ask me why. It's just how we were made. Ah, so that's the reason Jin agreed to her terms. He couldn't care less about the boy. But he wasn't about to lose this one. Simple as that. What are we doing here? Did you know Fonset has another name? Huh? Hero's Rest. Hero? As in? Indeed. Fonset Village was founded by Adam himself at the end of his travels. After the war, Adam charged me with protecting the village. Was this village? Really that important? What do you think I was protecting? You mean it's... Follow me. The village guardian. Just looks like a stone pillar to me. They say that the village's guardian spirit dwells within. Gramps, what are we doing here? Rex, try turning the stone tablet clockwise. This? Hmm. <clears throat> Huh? This crest, it's... I've seen it before. Place your hand on it. Here goes. What? 
What's this? This passage leads into the very center of the archipelago. There lies the cavern known as Spirit Crucible Elpis. That's quite a name. This entrance and the gate of the Spirit Crucible are sealed in such a way that only a Leptherian can open them. Ah, so that's why Jin needed me back then. When Adam founded this village, he hid something deep within the body of the Titan that forms the archipelago's center. You mean the missing sword? Hmm. I don't know how word of it got out, but many were led here by rumors of the legendary sword. More than a few have entered the spirit crucible, but none have ever returned. Is it really that dangerous? Adam wanted to ensure that the sword was securely sealed away. He put many measures in place to stop it falling into the wrong hands. Only the hands of someone worthy. Adam said that taking this sword would be the mark of the Aegis's true driver. The true driver? What do you say, Rex? I'll do it. No. I have to do it. Every moment we waste, Pyra and Mithra could be. Then you're ready for what lies ahead? If you hadn't interfered back then, neither of us would have had to go through all this. Now then, time to take back what I lost 500 years ago. How he's still alive with his crystal in that state? Seriously, it's not normal. The Aegis is the master blade. The first blade the architect forged. Malus can do things we can only dream of. And how's he going to restore his core exactly? He'll extract the data he's missing from the core of the other Aegis. Then all his power will be restored. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what will that do to her? <laughs> well, if she's lucky, she'll live. <laughs> As an empty husk, that is. Rough deal. Malice doesn't hold back, huh? Don't blame me for this. It's our father who made us this way. But don't worry. Once I meet him, I'll get the answers we're after. I need to know why we're like this. In any case, this world only needs one Aegis. Don't you agree, Pyra? Mac, what are you stumbling for? Sorry, my lady. I've been feeling a little dizzy. You too? You too, Lady Bridget? Yes, for a little while now. 
Though I'm still capable of standing. Hey, same here. What's up with this place? It's kind of creepy. What is going on here? I feared as much. Gramps, you knew this would happen. The tales say that Spirit Crucible Elpis saps the strength of blades. It's one of the reasons why none have ever returned from its depths. I say. Ether flows scarce in this area. That may be cause of problems. Like that time in the Tantalese Palace? That not only thing. Glowing particles in air. They absorb ether. That is source of light. So not only do you have less power, the power you do have is being absorbed. Well, that's jolly tragic. You were right, Poppy. Poppy just fine. Poppy never better. Of course. You're an artificial blade, ain't you? We have to cross that? Yes. But we must proceed with caution. Once we enter, the blades will be sapped of most of their power. If they run out of energy, they might be forced to return to their core state. And there's a chance they could never be reawakened. Pandy, you'd better just stay here and guard the fort. Why just me? Don't you want me? Don't ask dumb questions. You know very well why, don't you? If I'm staying, you ought to stay. I'll be fine. When am I ever not? If you're going, I'm... I'm ordering you to stay here. Is there something wrong? Pandoria was just agreeing to stay behind. No, uh I'm going with you. We made a promise, didn't we? Don't you dare say you've forgotten. Uh. I go where you go. End of story. Fine. My lady... I'm fine. We can't give up now we've come this far. Don't. I know what you're gonna say. I understood. I don't know what's in there. But, apart from Tora and Poppy, we're all going to find our abilities severely weakened. Be careful, Rex. Yes. Healing arts are going to be less effective, too. One nasty wound and that'll be the end of you. Yeah, I get that. Tora, Poppy, we'll need you on the front line. You got it, Rex Rex! Poppy is artificial blade, so request is very extremely not a problem. Technology save the day! Three cheers for no one no how! Where are Poppy's cheers? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Are you all right? Never better. I'm right as rain. The deeper we go, the thicker these particles get. You can still turn back. Thanks. Your concern is touching. Worry about yourself, yeah? I can look after her. Zeke, you don't look so good yourself. Is something wrong? Huh? Oh, yeah. I didn't think it was worth mentioning, but... Uh... How did you get that? I told you about the time I almost bloody died, right? My prince, Zeke, not like this, not here, not far now, just a little further. You can do it. Just leave me. Go on, without me. No! If you die, 
I'll turn back into a core crystal. I don't want to forget everything. Bandy, I'm sorry. I hope your next driver is better than me. I don't want another driver. You're... you're good enough. Prince... Zeke! I refuse to forget our ten years together. It's not going to happen. I'm not letting you die. Here. Fear not. He's going to be fine. You... you saved him? The fact that you're alive is proof of that, is it not? Uh. I had to transplant part of your core crystal into his heart. His wounds were grave. It was the only way to save you both. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Actually, I'm glad. What? Why? Knowing that a part of me is keeping you alive? I don't know, it's just nice. Penny. What is it? They do that? In Indo? I guess you and I are more alike than you thought, chum. Though mine was just a surgical procedure. You make it sound so simple. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. You know the people of Indo can trace their roots back to Judicium. Judicium? The creators of that titan weapon thing from Temperantia? Yeah, them. They carried out experiments, fusing blade and human cells, creating flesh eaters. So, those practices persist in Indol? Hey, so they took advantage of blade regeneration and patched me up with Pandy's core crystal, right? Since I have part of her core in me, I'm a flesh, no, a blade eater or something. <laughs> a blade eater. That's right. That's gotta be why this place is getting to you, too. It's all good. Let's just push on. My lady. For the last time, I'm fine. 
Why don't you just worry about yourself? But... You've got to admire Shaled over there. He just put it right up there. Hmm? And here I am. Dromark. I'm going to put myself to the test. Right here. I've decided. My lady. Very well. This mist makes me feel like I'm swimming through the cloud sea. This mist is produced when a fossilized Titan body reacts with the atmosphere. It's why it's so hard to breathe down here. Nia? What now? Are you in pain? I'm struggling to breathe like everyone else. And I'm a little dizzy, that's all. Oh, right. When that happens, it's best to just try and empty your head of all thoughts. What? It's an old salvager trick. When you swim down deep, it feels like your head's going to implode. You just go with it, don't fight it. Then you stop noticing the pressure. Why not give it a go? Empty my head, eh? You mean I have to start acting as daft as you? Tall order? Hey, that's not very nice. Everyone! Over here! Tora, think this way, lead down! It certainly doesn't look like a natural formation. Maybe it was grave robbers. There's not too much worth stealing round here. Well, apart from... Whatever it was that Adam hid down here. Just a guess. It's possible that Jin and his accomplices have been here. Then, they found out about the sunken ship and went to Argentum. Still just a guess, but a pretty good one. Then there won't be anything left to find, will there? Sheesh. Well, if that was the case, then you'd expect them to already have the third sword. But they clearly don't have it. No, I do not think Adam would let the sword be so easily found. No point in worrying. Let's just press on. Rex? We've come a long way. I think it's time for a break. What? But... Hold your horses. There's a long way to go yet. Oh. Hey, you too, Nia. Come rest your head on my lap, if you like. Why don't you rest your head in your ass? I'm sorry, everyone. I had no idea. There's no need to apologize. I understand. Poppy, now is good time to cool drive, Furnace. Aye, aye, Master Pawn. Master Pawn, Poppy is sorry. Huh? Emergency air. It might help. Oh, thanks. Oh, not like that. You have to hold your nose and then inhale really deeply. Now stretch out and puff out your chest. Is this another of your salvager tricks? Go on, just try it. Whoa, that really did the trick. Right? When I was starting out, 
This was one of the first things the other salvagers taught me. Even though they acted like my parents, they never really taught me anything worthwhile. I did manage to pick up a couple of useful tricks, though. Parents. Blah. My dad was real enough. But I can't say he really taught me anything either. He was a well-known lord in Gorbot. A real big cheese. He made me study hard. But it was all how to be a proper lady. Which folk to use. Nothing that's doing me any good now. Just useless shite. You were some kind of high society princess. I can't picture it. Shattered you. I hated studying. But, looking back, those were the happiest times of my life. There was my dad and my big sis, the three of us. You had a sister? Yeah. She was very frail. I spent a lot of time at her bedside. My dad brought doctors from all over to try and help her. He tried so hard. It was all he thought about. After that point, my memories aren't so happy. Nia. Da spent all his money on chasing a cure and lost his position as a lord. From then on, we became drifters. <sighs> it was a tough life. It took its toll on my sister. She died not long after. Anyway, I'm sorry for talking a year off. Thanks for the salvage trick. It really worked. Sneaky git. If you had this all along, why did you hold out on me? I feel much better. Shall we go, Rex? Looks like the only way through is by force. Poppy! Incendiary barrage! Roger, roger. Whoa, stop, stop, stop! You want to bring the whole cave down on top of us? It was joke. Poppy has no such weaponry. That wasn't funny. Oh. Does this also have something to do with your connection to the Aegis? No idea. But look. No footprints. We're the first people here. Then there could still be hope. Is tied to yours. You have a 
life within you now. A life? She lives on inside you. Her life is tied to yours. Say it for me now. Address me as... Father. Yes. Father. My lady! My lady! Hmm? Are you all right? Mia! Hey! You don't look so steady. Careful! Fall down there, you'll never hit the bottom. <laughs> you must be sick of saving me by now. Huh? Don't be silly. Don't push yourself. You can rest up a little longer. It's even tougher for you, though. I'm telling you, I'm fine. After my sister died, it wasn't long before my dad died, too. Huh? I'm finishing my story. True Mark was all I had left to remember him. We started wandering together. Or maybe I should say running. Running? From who? People your dad owed money to? No. From the Praetorium. Uh, well, why? Well, it's a long story. Get the cannibal! Capture that flesh-eating blade! was against us. There was nothing we could do but stay on the run. Taking each day as it came. Just thankful for each sunrise. Praying we'd see another. Whew. Then I met Jin. He... He took me in. So that's why you and Jin... In Jin, I saw a way out, you know? I didn't see a future for myself on my own, so I threw my lot in with him. But... I can't see it. What? You're not the kind of person to worry about stuff like that. Well, I wasn't worried as such. So, anyway, why the story? I don't know. I was just rambling. Look, I don't know what's burning you near, but... You shouldn't be afraid. 
Afraid? Of whatever it is. Stay true to your feelings, even if it means fighting tooth and claw. That's who you are, right? What the hell? I'm not some violent goon. I think you know what I mean. What the...? <laughs> there we go. That's the Nia I know. The Nia you know? Not far now. Let's get going. Rex. Rex, Rex, it's dead end. That seal. It's the same as the one on the ship. Who or what? Hey, watch out there, Rex! Nia! Any longer, I won't hide who I am. No more. Nia. She's a blade. Bladiest blade. Not merely a blade. She's a. <laughs> Nia. I am burdened no longer. Not by my past, not by Jin. I am finally free. A blade? What the? Afraid. This is who I am, Rex. What's the point in living if I have to hide? Thank you for helping me see. I love you, Rex. What? I love you and all you guys. So let's do this together.
<laughs> That's just like you. It's all I could ask for. Let's give him hell! Ready? Ready. On, relentlessly, but you do not fight for yourself. I fight for my friends. Yeah! I have been waiting for so long for one such as you. My name is Adam. I am long departed from this world. That voice. Before. What is your name, boy? Rex. I've been here before. This is Elysium. Pyra was standing under that tree. Over there. She looked... lonely. Is that so? I must offer my gratitude. Hey? You are the one who brought me here. I have never been to this place. Once I sought to come here, but I never did. Oh, really? Neither have I. Not... not yet. It is beautiful. Yeah. Rex, what is it that you seek? Wealth? Power? Dominion? Uh... None of those, really. Though... Power might be useful. Power, then? Power to protect. Protect what? That's a long list. Gramps, Mia, Tora, everyone in Fonset, and Pyra and Mithra. You are greedy, boy. Everyone in Argentum used to tell me that. It is not necessary to protect everything. There is a limit to what one man can do. That's true. But there is something granted to you especially. Please, tell me what it is. The power to accept her. She is afraid of her own power and her terrible destiny. And I too was afraid. I feared the true power of the Aegis. Hmm. Your will to fight comes from your will to protect. Blades and mortals are linked. When you take on the weight of all the fear she carries then you will be her true driver
Rex? Rex? What happened? You haven't said anything since the ghost disappeared. Yeah. I'm fine. Never better. That's... The third sword. What? The Aegis Sword. Why? Why did Sword break? Perhaps it was just down here too long. You're bloody kidding me, right? After we trudged all the way down here? It's okay. How can it be okay? Pyra's one true sword just broke. This was never about the sword. We have everything we need. Huh? I know now what I have to do. Let's go. We've got rescuing to do. Rex, look. Nia, do you trust me? Yeah, but... You've realized something, haven't you, Rex? Something important that the rest of us can't see. I'm with you. I've seen that look in your eyes before. have thought that Nia was a blade too. Why didn't you tell us, Nia? I just didn't, okay? No, it's not okay. <sighs> you lot really are just children, aren't you? Huh? What do you mean? You'll understand one day. Hey, you know, me, Rex, Nia, we've all got some kind of deep blade connection going on with us, haven't we? To tell the truth, I am a little envious, Lady Morag. You know, I'm sure it could be arranged. Would it leave a scar? That's kind of part of the bargain. In that case, maybe not. No, that's not what I meant. It's just... Oh. Relax. Much as I appreciate the sentiment, I wouldn't want you to harm yourself. I am sorry. Anyway, what do we do now? It's all well and good that we escaped, but we've got nothing to show for it. Don't worry. I know where we have to go. Are you sure, Rex? You know Pyra's location? I think so. Near the World Tree. I see a rotting titan. She's there. A rotting titan? Could it be? What is it? Morag knows such a place? Close by the world tree, against the side of the great void, I've heard there's a titan known as the Cliffs of Moritha. Moritha? That name sounds familiar. Lady Morag. There are tales, tales of a land of the dead, and the cliffs that lead into its depths. Yes, indeed. The land of Moritha, a place no living soul has ever witnessed. 
Well then. Mick, you here again? Is it passion or idiocy? Patroka. Just ask me out already. Piss off and die, Mick. Oh, I'm sure I'll get around to it one of these days. So, what are you doing anyway? You know, the Marsanis is the last torn in warship. I'm readying it for battle with non-mortal opponents. What are you talking about, non-mortal? <laughs> Surely you don't need me to tell you. You don't mean... <laughs> something wrong? Uh... Did you want something? Oh, uh, food's ready. Get it while it's hot. You came all the way here to tell me that? You've got quite the crush. Mick Kyle, I'm gonna crush your... Okay, got it. Well, I'd better go and eat this delicious spread. Mick? So these are the cliffs of Moritha. A rotting titan, drifting aimlessly until death takes it. I just remembered. Malos mentioned this place once. It's a shortcut to the world tree. Makes sense. Let's push on. Pyra is definitely somewhere ahead. Look at all this trash. Huh? <laughs> Rex, are you okay? <sighs> Rex? I'm 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 fine. Could it be Pyra is in trouble? I don't know, but we have to hurry. I have a bad feeling about this. don't need these things. You want to be free of them, as I do! Stop it! I'm not like you at all! I am...
Well, damn, father. Look what you've been hiding away. All right, then. If that's what you want, I'll do it for you! What is it? Did you remember something? It is done. Once we establish a link with what Mikhail is preparing aboard the Marsanis, everything will be complete. And the Aegis? Oh, that? It's not an Aegis anymore. Just... a lump of meat. I see. Ah! Come forth, Ophion! its own attack instinct, capable of autonomous action. <laughs> she knew that. That's why she came quietly. No matter. All it needs is a little reprogramming! <laughs> An earthquake? In a place like this? It's close. Let's go. You're finally here. I've been expecting you. Malos. Your core crystal. So you finally gave up your little human act. Are you looking for a place to belong? Or are you just a fickle child who doesn't know what she wants? <laughs> Where's Pyra? Hell if I know. She's probably dead by now. I'm alive. She's alive. Think whatever you like. But don't be mad at me. All I'm doing is reclaiming what was stolen from me. <sighs> You're never going to see her again. <laughs> you make me laugh, you know that? Look at you. That salvager brat I picked up in Argentum. Standing here with the gall to challenge me? Someone's gotta. We're not gonna lose to the likes of you! You did well to make it this far. But... You end here. will destroy anything it touches. It'll take your arm or your head right off. What? What are we gonna do? <laughs> 
poor, helpless little maggots! Nia! You! Nia! I should have used this power earlier. But I was afraid. Afraid to go back to those days. Lives have been lost because I was afraid. Nia! But someone taught me that I don't have to be afraid. Now I get it. My life has a purpose. Your power might destroy Malos, but my power restores. As long as my friends have a will to live, that's all I need. There is no wound you can inflict that I cannot heal. Blade weapons, too. They were born from us and could be healed just the same. Rex, everyone, it's time to end this. Yeah! I'm gonna kill you! Don't you know when to give up, Malos? Ah! That's an annoying power! So sorry. You've gotta be stopped. You're a menace to the entire world! Is that so? Oh, you sweet talker, Neil. Don't you see how weak you are? Heal all you want, but you can't even scratch me. Where are your claws, kitty? <sighs> Very well. Then I'll show you. You asked for it. Rex, help me out. You got it. Follow my lead. Okay. Here goes. Alter the replication rate of your body cells. Even an immortal blade is made from the same stuff as any other being. I use that to my advantage. This is why Jin recruited you. He saw that power. Who knows? Why don't you ask him yourself? <laughs> I've got just one thing to say to you. The place where I belong is right here. <laughs> See ya. Pyra! Ah, you missed the highlight. We already have everything we need from her. Jin! What did you do to her? I already told you. I'm just trying to get back what was stolen from me five centuries ago. Malos! You're alive! <laughs> you didn't think you could put me down that easily, did you? I am an Aegis. Don't underestimate me. 
I can't believe you fell for it. <gasps> you did this to her! She betrayed herself as an Aegis, forming a bond with a piece of human trash. She tried so pathetically hard to hold on to her memories of you. But, in the end, I got them all. Uh, she put up a brave little fight. Please don't steal my memories. Cute stuff like that. Sorry, boy. You came to this desolate place for nothing. Do you really want this useless husk? Go ahead and take it! Pyra! Pyra! I'm so sorry. Pyra. Mithra. We made it this far, but... Rex. Rex, Rex! Nia. Got it. Dromark, take care of Pyra. Understood. <laughs> What's this? I thought you'd start bawling and charge at me. What a big boy. Stupid. Huh. I was stupid. I didn't understand Pyra and Mithra's feelings. Though we were destined to follow different paths, I tried to walk together. I walked in the shadow of the Aegis's light. Blindly walking my own path, while she walked alone. What are you blathering about? So, I might be stupid, but I've made a decision. Oh, what have you decided? You've come all this way. I'll hear you out. It's obvious. I'll crush you into oblivion and take Pyra and Mithra to Elysium. <laughs> crush us? Me and Jin? You couldn't take Jin on your own. And on top of that, I've regained control of all my Aegis powers. Not to mention the artifices. You're doomed, boy. I'm not. That thing is just a used up shell. You can't rely on it to save you, boy. I now understand what Pyra and Mithra wanted. And I understand what I have to do to make it happen. What it means to be driver and blade. Huh. Everyone, stand with me one more time. Let's get Pyra back and go to Elysium. I mentioned how irritating that ability is? You did mention that. <sighs> what? This is ice. Jin, you! But of course. This is Jin's true power. You may have awesome regenerative powers, but everything <sighs> becomes futile once you get down to absolute zero. Oh, absolute zero. While they're vulnerable, let's do it, Jin! Oh. Rex! Ah! Nia! I'm not done with you yet! Oh. Morag! This is getting us nowhere! Ugh. Oh, too bad. Tuh. Puppy! Take this! Oh, ah. Trash! Ah. Puppy! Tora! Ah. Ah. It can't end like this! Enough. Give 
up, Rex. Forget about us. Rex, please listen to what we have to say. Our power has done nothing but bring you pain. It would be better if such a power didn't exist. We told you we wanted to go to Elysium, but the reason why we wanted to go there was to beg our father to let us die. So forget us, Rex. For the sake of the world, abandon us. Abandon you? When you are injured, I feel your pain. When you feel pain, I feel the sorrow in your heart. What the hell? Has he finally cracked? You really think I can just stand by like this and watch someone I love suffer? You can make it to Elysium. You can make it with or without us. So please. What would be the point of that? Listen, I swore to you. We're going to Elysium together. That's a promise. Rex. I'm going to Elysium for you. I'm doing all of this. For you! We'll do it together! We'll find out together! We'll find your place in this world! Find out where we're headed and see what our future holds! So believe me, I won't let the world burn a second time! So, Pyra, Mitra, join me! What? How? Yeah! A new sword! Ira, Mitra! Apologies. Rex, worry not. All is well. I am lost no longer. What's this? Uh, that's better than you think. I could get used to this. Everyone, attack! Yeah! Payback time!
How are you matching my speed? Impossible! You can't have such power! I don't get it. But I'm not complaining. This is what I've been searching for. Whoa, so this is Pyra and Mithra's true power. You want some more? <sighs> he looks so sad. Rex. Weak. End me now, or you'll live to regret it. I don't want to fight you. I just want to get to Elysium. That's all. I won't let you stop me. That's not going to happen. We have goals of our own. You and anything that stands in the way will be wiped out. What goals? Our only purpose. Destroy humanity. Destroy the world. Then... Destroy the architect. Huh? I am an Aegis. Created by the architect to erase existence. The ultimate weapon, the Endbringer! Endbringer? Yes, my only purpose is to destroy. I am the Endbringer. That is why I must go to Elysium and awaken the ultimate artifice ion. You can't be serious. I'm nothing but serious, boy. This is the sacred duty entrusted to the Aegises by the Architect. You're wrong. Father doesn't want that. You're deeply mistaken. Enough. I know I'm right! <laughs> Othia! Indeed! It ends here! Another guest at the party? That's... Siren. Bring it on! No! 